Hi, this is Vaughn with Spirit of Health. I'm a naturopath, herbalist, owner of Spirit of Health. I got my buddy here, Brandon, who works for Sir Thrival. He's a superfood expert. And today, the topic is elk antler. Elk antler, interesting stuff. <laughs> uh, I learned about deer antler. Deer and elk are similar, of course. We'll talk about maybe the differences, but I've known about deer antler for a long time. I've known that it was used in Chinese medicine. It's one of those popular herbs used in Chinese medicine. It's one of the most powerful substances and herbs known. Uh, it's interesting they call it an herb. It's not really a plant. It's obviously from an animal. Uh, but what's neat about deer antler and, and the way I've used it over the years is the growth factors that are in the deer antler that make it so powerful for regeneration, regenerating new cells, new nerves, new tissues, etc. And I'll tell you probably what I've used deer antler for more than anything is the boost that it has on the adrenal glands. So we know adrenal fatigue is a big issue for a lot of people. People are tired, they focus, concentration, memory, fatigue, athletic performance, you know, starts to dip a little bit. And um, the deer antler can be very powerful for kind of boosting those adrenals. Um, I've also uh, given people deer antler um, that have diabetes uh, seems to be good for that. Anybody who has any damaged nerves, so like a back injury. Um, so these are just some of the things I've used the deer antler for. Now again, this isn't a, really a talk about deer antler, it's about elk antler. Right. So I guess my first question for the expert here would be, uh, what's the difference between deer antler and elk antler? Well, elk is actually a deer. It's a type of deer. Okay. It's larger, obviously, in size, and the nutrient density of the antlers is actually quite a bit more. Now, antlers are something that grow back every year on the mammal and, sh and are shed every year. So this is really interesting when we talk about regeneration and growth of tissue, like the nerve growth factors, the bone growth factors, because this is the equivalent of a human growing a limb back every year. When you talk about connective tissue, bone, velvet, cartilage, <laughs> blood, platelets, all this kind of stuff is made up in the antler. Wow. So it's really, really fascinating that you have a substance that's basically allows a mammal of that size to rejuvenate every single year, basically an external limb. Right? That's neat. So um, we always talk about quality. That's always a big deal. Yeah. And just like with anything else, there's a lot of people selling deer antler, not necessarily a lot of people selling elk antler, but why don't you tell me a little bit about uh, the quality of uh, the antler and why it's so important, not the quality and I guess how you process and the, the processing involved to make sure you get a good quality. Absolutely. Um, one of the reasons we went with American elk is because we have complete quality control over the process from the ranch to the processing facility. There's, um, there's basically in the, in the world of um, elk antler or deer antler, there's three different processes in harvesting. Uh, you have the Chinese, medicine, uh, Chinese approach where they cut it off the uh, antler tips and basically boil it into like a water extraction. And then you have the New Zealand market which basically uses uh, a pretty interesting technique. They use these zip ties, hmm. basically cut off circulation because again, this is like a limb, right? So there's blood flowing to it. They, they use a zip tie and basically tighten it a little bit more each day so it kind of you know, starts to die and fall off, which is um, not the most ideal and why we weren't attracted to the, the deer antler market in New Zealand is because they, that process, there's a lot of necrotic tissue and a lot of die-off. Mm -hmm. So um, with this company that we work closely with um, in the United States, um, which is really kind of local to us, is really awesome because they have a really cool process where the deer come down every year, once a year, and they're kind of funneled into this um, this facility. And I don't know if you remember those old arcade machines where you have the claw and you're basically oh, yeah. put in a quarter and you try and pick something up. <laughs> they basically have a device like that that's padded and deer or elk, uh, in this case, when they're picked up off their feet, they go passive or submissive, they, hmm. they go limp. and uh, our, the kind of humane side to how we treat our animals um, is that we basically there, there's a needle that goes in and deadens the nerve and the uh, the elk and then they just chop the tips off and then they go run free for the rest of the year and uh, they're pastured gra mm -hmm. they're grass fed you know, so the animals aren't basically. harmed because people you know we want to make yeah. sure we're they're not slaughter animals cautious of, of that yeah absolutely and then okay. what really kind of makes our quality stand out even further is that those fresh tips that don't have a chance to degrade they're put into a freeze-dried process so we concentrate about 43 pounds of antler down to one pound of extract 
and that's what you get in these wow. uh, the gold, the silver, and, and the uh, the platinum. It's different strengths of that proprietary 43 to 1 extract. So from the ranch all the way to the finished survival elk antler bottle, we have complete quality control, and it's really kind of unmatched in the industry. Mm -hmm. And I'd like to also add, as far as um, the quality of the base material, we use organic grape alcohol, hmm. uh, or grape ethanol, which is very important because if you look at some of these liposomal sprays or some of these other um, products on the market, they have citric acid in them, they have poly, uh, you know, mold inhibitors, mm -hmm. potassium sorbate, stuff like this, and that creates a really acid condition, so mold, yeast, and fungus won't grow in it. And this degrades growth factors over time, so it starts to degrade while it's on the shelf. But the uh, the grape organic grape ethanol is pH neutral, so it preserves the growth factors in the best possible way. And that grape ethanol um, is the delivery system. So when you hold this under your tongue in your mouth, it pushes those growth factors right into the bloodstream, hmm. um, which is very important. That's where you want them, and they get damaged through digestion. So that's really important for that delivery system as well. Great. Yeah. Uh, let's talk about maybe the, the people who can benefit from taking elk antler. Uh, I remember a story, and again, my stories are based on deer antler, elk antlers, more powerful, so I'm really excited to, to, to see all the, uh, the benefits and the stories we'll hear about using elk antler, but I remember I had a gal one time who was taking the deer antler, and uh, I don't even remember why I was giving it to her, but the, the thing she came in really excited about was not the reason I originally gave it to her, but she was so excited this was a woman, she was so excited about her hair, skin, and nails. She couldn't believe how much faster her hair was growing, how better it looked, how much her nails were growing faster. And women are always looking for something for hair, skin, and nails. And I guess I never really thought of how awesome deer antler would be for that. Why would that be? I mean, Think about it. It's, it's basically like a highly concentrated bone broth that you can mm. just easily get in the system and you're getting all the growth factors and you're getting all the immune factors into the system. So uh, obviously it has everything your body needs to regenerate to that level where you're like 15, 16 years old. You know, as we age, we start to break down faster than we can regenerate. Mm -hmm. And once we get these growth factors right into the bloodstream, um, things start growing. Awesome. So I know athletes really benefit from uh, deer antler because of the growth factors. And there's, uh, I guess there was a little controversy mm -hmm. over some athletes taking deer antler. Can you uh, maybe, maybe explain why it's, I mean, I've heard some things about it. I mean, I know it's a natural substance. So of course, a natural substance is not going to show up on a blood test because man is creating all these weird synthetic chemicals that can have an effect on the body, but those are illegal. Deer right. antler, of course, is natural, so it's not illegal. But um, what, what do you have to say about that, and, and why is it good for athletes? And Well, I, I think really when we're looking at longevity and long-term use of anything, um, anything that's synthesized in a lab, I mean, we can get the chemistry down pretty well with the technology that we have, but it really doesn't have the matrix of cofactors like found in natural substances. I mean, nature had put it together to where, you know, it's all intact and made available and useful to the body, so the body gently gets rid of what it doesn't need and makes use of what it does need mm -hmm. from that substance. So when we're taking synthetics, if we're taking synthetic testosterone or IGF-1 or HGH or human growth hormone, and we're injecting it, that's gonna have a totally different effect in the body. So I think it's of utmost important to get it from natural substances that uh, we would you know, consume naturally through our diet. Yeah, well, I mean, my section of the website, it's God's greatest gifts. And it's amazing how human beings were discovering things, but we can never recreate what God has done. Right. I mean, he's given it all to us, it's all perfect, and he's the designer. And we can only do the best with what we have, um, but it's never going to perfectly mimic what God has designed. And I, I guess that's why we see, like you said, it might have an effect on the body, but it's never going to be the same. And a lot of times there's negative side effects because man, again, just can't mimic the perfection of what's already been designed. Right. And elk antler has always traditionally been viewed as a very balanced herb. Um, it's very adaptogenic on mm -hmm. the body. So it's, it, it helps your... Uh, physiochemical system balance out and regulate, which is really important. And synthetic or isolated nutrients in sp specifically drive the body in one direction. They don't have that in almost intelligence to regulate the body. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Okay, great. Well, we hope you learned something about uh, elk antler and uh, hopefully it's something you might have a chance to try one day and see the benefits out of it. I know I've seen great benefits from it. Brandon can say the same thing and a lot of people I work with have as well. So uh, thanks for watching until we meet again.